<clears throat> okay, so we'll be looking at what is known as plasma pheresis therapy. Okay, so plasma pheresis therapy is just what is simply known as a plasma exchange. All right, so define it, the meaning, why it is done, and all of that. So this is just it. All right, it's an image illustrating what plasma pheresis therapy is. It's up to what exchanging plasma all around the body and all of that. So plasma pheresis therapy is also known as well plasma exchange. It's a medical procedure used to what treat various autoimmune diseases. And I'm talking about autoimmune. I'm saying that the body is attacking the its own cells. Right? It's also used in treating neurological diseases, blood disorders, and all of that. So for procedure, you have to what collect blood. So blood collection, blood is drawn from the patient, then passed through a machine. Then it now separates the plasma from the blood cells. Plasma removal. The plasma which contains harmful substances like antibodies, toxins, proteins that are the ones causing all those problems will now be removed from the blood. All right. Replacement fluid. The removed plasma is what? Replaced with a substitute that's often saline. Okay. Albumin or donor plasma. It could be that. Okay, you now replace it with all these other things, or you now what? All right. So um, you now replace it with better things. You understand? You remove the toxins. So the clean blood with the replaced fluid is then returned to the body of the patient. Do you understand? So. You collect blood, you put it here, you separate, that's plasma separator. Then you now add anything that you want to add, then replace it back to the patient. All right. So use this mostly for autoimmune disorders like well, multiple sclerosis, myasthenia gravis, bullying bear syndrome. And these conditions actually involve the immune system attacking the body. So the plasma exchange will help to what, remove the harmful antibodies from your body, okay? Also neurological conditions, multiple sclerosis, also blood disorders like what? Cryoglobulinemia. So all of this. So benefits, there's actually a rapid symptom relief because you are, you are removing a, the things that are actually causing the problem. It's an adjunct therapy. The potential risk, sometimes it can come up with infections, can come out with bleeding at the needy site, low blood pressure, allergic reactions, and all of that. Okay. So this is this for what? Plasma therapy. See you guys.